Traumatic brain injury will be uh, diagnosed, I think, very differently five years from now. I hazard to make any predictions beyond five years. So if, if we can restrict ourselves to five years, I think that blood-based biomarkers will be used routinely, that we will use these biomarkers to minimize or reduce exposure to unnecessary radiation because we're discovering now that uh, whole body CT exposes you to the same amount of radiation a, a Hiroshima a victim experienced. And, and the increases in cancer rates, especially among uh, developing kids, pediatric population, is really starting to present an unacceptable risk for unnecessary CTs or MRI. But we will use enhanced imaging technologies, I hope, that have reduced radiation exposure, such as magnetic resonance imaging, that uh, provide, it's very clear right now that significant amount of brain damage that occurs, uh, that, that is not detectable on CT, is reliably detectable but it, with an MRI, but is never seen because we don't use MRIs. So I, I think we'll see radical improvements in the technology for acute diagnosis of TBI and a more rational classification of TBI because TBI is not one disease. It won't require one treatment. I think we'll make significant inroads into predicting the kinds of consequences that this poor fellow you and I talked about earlier who had what was thought to be a mild TBI and it took him months to years to recover, uh, we will be able to give people some more accurate prediction. Okay, you've had a brain injury. Based on your biomarker level and other information, you, unfortunately, you're going to expect to have a long period of memory deficits, and it's probably good to get into rehab. Don't be confused. You know, but most of these people experience these deficits, and they're undiagnosed, and they don't know why they're, they're having them. But I think the most important advances will be made in extending this technology very, very quickly to acute brain injury in general. And I'll give you some uh, specific examples. Sports concussion is an obvious one, of course, but uh, taking a blood test on the football field. And these tests will become a point of care test that you can go take in the locker room. Football fields like fighter pilots, I mean, football players like fighter pilots are notoriously needle phobic. And uh, you don't want to take a blood draw from, from me and uh, many, <laughs> many other more thuggish uh, people who you know, don't behave well in the face of needles. But, so you want to do pinprick draws. It's, it's, think of, the, of a pregnancy test where these things, or glucose tests, where these things become very user-friendly and readily accessible.